it's Kaylee with exploring outside the 303 and we're gonna talk about the three places we hit in South Dakota um, after we sold our house and we were able to hit uh, the three kind of major things in that um, west side of South Dakota and so we were able to do in about seven hours we were able to hit uh, Mount Rushmore National uh, Monument Bear Country um, where you drive through and then we did the reptile gardens. We had decided that um, since we didn't have our house anymore and it was going to be Steve with the kids in the trailer, why not get everybody and bring them along? So that's what we did. Um, so we hopped in the trailer, all of us, um, our first official traveling um, as full timers and we had driven overnight to Wyoming um, just to crash for the night. We ran through this horrific storm on the way up there and like we had wind advisories and everything so we ended up having to pull over to the side of the road for a little bit and then we um, camped in a fairground um, which was interesting because we had never done that so a little stressful there but uh, we made it we survived and we had this beautiful after the storm had gone through um, where we were at then we had this beautiful double rainbow but it was like pink in the sky it was just gorgeous and uh so we and then we had driven on into um outside of cedar city south dakota um so we figured that was a good kind of middle spot for us to hit and we ended up staying in hermosa which was about 20 miles outside of uh where the national monument is and um and it worked out really well um, since it was kind of last minute for us. Um, we were able to get a spot with no problem and a decent price too. It was a cute little, um, cute little campsite that we had went. Um, so we wanted to hit Bear Country first um, because that had been on our bucket list forever. Um, we've always talked about it, even with my stepdad and my mom. We had talked about going and traveling up there, and so that's what we did. Um, so we went, and you drive through Bear Country, which was so much fun. Um, you get to see a ton of animals, but of course the highlight is seeing all the bears, and they're literally right outside your window. Um, they're scratching themselves. They're hanging out. They're just piling everywhere. I mean, they were so cool, um, these huge, big bears um, to see. It was just... It was immaculate. I couldn't believe just how, like, I, I just wanted one because they were so cute. <laughs> um, and then they had this, uh, like, a little kind of a zoo part afterwards where you could see some of the smaller animals. Uh, so we really liked that. Um, so we hung about there. I think it took us about two hours um, to do bear country. And um, then we skedaddled on and went and did the National Monument. Um, so for Mount Rushmore. And so I hadn't been to Mount Rushmore since I was a kid, um, and it was the kids' first time, of course, and then Steve hadn't been before either. And so it was really cool to see their faces light up when we, you know, went up to this monument. Um, and you walk up and you see all these faces and everything. It was so much fun. It was a beautiful drive up there. Uh, the little town that you drive through right when you get there was really cute, too. I loved it. And there was a ton of camping spots out there. Um, so we did the monument for maybe an hour and a half two hours um, and then we decided that we had enough time to do one more thing and so uh, Jeremiah was all about it. he goes I want to see the reptile garden and so we uh, got in I think it was like right before they had stopped selling tickets but the cool thing was is once you had bought a ticket you could be in there till like 7 30 or 8 o'clock at night um, which was awesome so there wasn't a ton of people and we got to see um, these old turtles. And these turtles are huge. They were like 500 pounds. And Orville um, was the sweetest old turtle. He was 130 years old. Yeah, I said 130. I couldn't believe it. He was so, so cool. And um, the kids just loved him. They actually got to like pick the grass and feed him uh, the grass right in front of him. And we learned all about Orville and his friends. Um, they had this huge area with, of course, a ton of snakes and lizards. And, and they had a bunch of uh, birds and stuff that would walk around as well. So that was pretty cool. Um, 
and they we watched this bird show um, which was really fun to see and they talked about the different types of birds that they had there and all the conservation efforts that they had um, and then they had a groundhog village where um, which is funny the kids I think loved that one that was like one of their highlights um, they had these like little domes where you can like go in and peek your head up through all where the colonies are of these groundhogs what I loved most about being able to cram in that much because um, we only really had one day because we had hit the road the next day to go all the way up to Williston, North Dakota um, so I could be there on site for work on Monday and um, it was cool that we were able to hit so many big things and make these memories um, in South Dakota so quickly. So my tips for visiting South Dakota um, when you only have a day <laughs> um, one is make it so you don't have a day <laughs> You really do want to experience and go through all the history. I know there was a bunch of caves that you could do um, and other activities that you could have done in um, that Rapid City area. Um, but, um, all right, so my top, uh, we'll say top three tips is plan it out and really kind of lay out your areas of where you're going to go and what you're going to see. Um, because there is a lot to see and with it all being so fairly close together, we were able to get in a, a bunch um, a bunch of activities really quickly. Um, to pack a lunch, um, the prices up there were pretty decent, um, but you could easily throw some sandwiches in a cooler, put it in the back of the truck and you know eat while you're heading to your next destination. And then three, really take in the moments that you have with the kids and what they're experiencing and all the animals and even with the history, especially at the monument. So if you have any questions about what we did or where we visited, um, let me know. And then um, also comment below what we missed. Um, what are other things that we could do around that Cedar City area um, and even South Dakota as a whole? Because I know we were kind of zooming in and zooming out and I would love to spend some more time there. Um, okay, until next time you guys, um, hit that subscribe button down below and we appreciate you guys following along. Uh, with our adventures.